Hi, I'm Bob Rubert with the Oracle Technology Network, and this is a two-minute tech tip, Cleveland style. I'm here at the Great Lakes Oracle Conference 2015 in Cleveland, Ohio. Let's meet my special guest. My name is Kellen Potvon Gorman. I am the consulting member of the Enterprise Manager Technical Staff with the Strategic Consulting Program. What is the topic of your two-minute tech tip? We're going to talk about how to properly size your AWR warehouse. If you are ready, your two minutes starts now. So most people are sizing the AWR warehouse just by looking at the size of their sysox. And the best way to really do this is to look at your AWR info.sql. This script, this report, is sitting in your Oracle Home RDBMS admin directory. And this report is the general AWR info report. What it's going to do is not just tell you how big your AWR and your sysox is. It's going to break down everything within your AWR and the components. And the way it should break down is you should see the uh, the SQL, the space, the, uh, the events, and everything else. And then about fifth down should be ASH. What we're seeing with a lot of people, especially if they're like 11.1, is they may have some ASH bugs involved in here. Or you're going to see this with some people who have messed with the parameters, the underscore parameters, which we're not going to talk about a little. Yeah, we will. But anyway, what we're seeing is that you'll have like 2.5 gigs of ASH data for eight days of AWR in instead of like 135 megs. And the reason that this is happening is because either those bugs, and there is a fix for this, you can go out of my blog and you'll find it out there, you should go to DBA Kevlar, or you can go in and start looking at those underscore ash queer uh, uh, parameters. And what's going on is people are keeping all of their samples. The reason is, is they think that it's an auditing mechanism. It's not, don't do that. Or they've made, made changes to the intervals and everything else. And when you make changes to your intervals on your um, retention for your AWR, many times you can kind of screw this up. I say if you're going over 60 days, look at the AWR warehouse. Don't be doing this with your intervals and keeping all this in your production system because this ends up just causing bottlenecks and issues within that. Um, but the AWR info report, definitely run it. Look at the components that are contained within your SysOx table space and ensure that you're not bringing all that data over to your AWR warehouse because this can turn from 100 gigs to 2 terabytes for some of our customers. It is just not worth it. Well, that gives you a pretty general idea of what's happening. Nicely done. You're sure you like things like this? Sure.